As an adult learner, you have the advantage in education. You have a variety of life's experiences that are great resources when pursuing a higher education. As you journey through this ASN hybrid nursing program, you're going to experience a transition process from the LPN to the ASN role. To assist you in your success, you will need an understanding of your goals, your learning style, your motivational mechanisms, and your desired role in society. This will assist you in the transition process of professionalism. After the completion of this lesson, you're going to be able to apply adult learning principles to oneself, give examples of adult learning principles in each of the three learning domains, cognitive, affective, and psychomotor, state learning strategies to maximize success in the ASN program, and differentiate between the LPN practice and the role of the ASN student. Adults are self-directed and self-motivated and have developed specific learning styles that assist them with learning new knowledge and or skills. Unlike a child's learning environment, which is structured, the adult learning environment is self-established and goal-directed. These are a few key characteristics of adult learners that are identified by Harrington and Terry in your course textbook on page 129. These characteristics are utilizes life experiences in the educational process, self-motivated when they can identify the learning is beneficial to them, self-motivated when learning is needed to fulfill social roles, self-motivated and self-directed when learning fulfills goals, learn best when the program addresses the student's specific learning style, and motivated for self-actualization and to make a meaningful contribution to society. You're going to use your past experience and knowledge as you adventure into new experiences. You are able to rely on your expertise while collaborating with other students in the healthcare team while you achieve competencies and course objectives. You're going to connect prior learning with new learning experiences throughout this program, expanding knowledge in problem solving, analyzing, and synthesizing content in theories and application of process. Motivational factors contribute to the adult learner's desire to pursue a higher level of education and professionalism. This is prompted by either personal or professional gain. These can be categorized as self-fulfillment or self-actualization. The key point is for you to define your motivational factor and use it as a resource to maintain your self-motivation throughout the ASN hybrid nursing program. The LPN to ASN hybrid program is a fast-paced program and it will require you to self-direct your learning. This can be accomplished by identifying your present learning style and using resources to magnify the style in combination with past learning experiences which can provide you with a plan to succeed in the program. Harrington and Terry state, individualizing your approach to new content can offer many possibilities for maximizing the learning process. The LPN and the ASN programs may appear to be similar, but when the two programs are reviewed closely, there is a significant difference between the two programs. The transformation from the LPN to the ASN role is not just the application of new skills, technology, or physiology. It is a process of learning, thinking, and applying knowledge in a whole new way. Please review these differences. This list represents the core components and competencies that are identified by the Nurse Practice Act regulated by the National Council of State Boards. These are professional behaviors, communication, assessment, clinical decision making, caring interventions, teaching and learning, collaboration, and managing care. Learning, identified by Benjamin S. Bloom, indicates that the LPN and ASN require three learning domains. Cognitive, 
the process of acquiring knowledge. Effective, the process of learning involving values and attitudes. Psychomotor, the process of developing or enhancing skills. Bloom expanded on this theory and noted that there are six learning achievement levels. Knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, synthesis, and evaluation. Each level provides objectives that identify differences in level of thinking and knowledge between the LPN and ASN program. Lori Anderson, a former student of Bloom's, later revised the taxonomy of educational objectives. This revision includes remembering, understanding, applying, analyzing, evaluating, and creating. Here is a detailed chart of Bloom's taxonomy. Bloom's taxonomy is a classification of levels of intellectual behavior important in learning. You may also review the table in your textbook pages 135 to identify the comparisons of the role of the LPN and RN in nursing process and nursing diagnosis. You can maximize your success by using learning strategies that consider self-awareness, creating self-directed goals, and being an active learner. You can also use techniques to stimulate thinking. One type of technique is asking questions such as what, how, and why. You want to include the three main learning domains of cognitive, affective, and psychomotor. In this hybrid ASN program, there are two types of students, the straight through student and the timeout student. The straight through student are the students that have just completed the LPN program and immediately enrolled into the ASN program. The timeout students are the students that have decided to take time off after completing the LPN program. This time off could have been for personal or professional reasons. Regardless of the type of student you are, your individual learning needs and goals will be different. As you can see here listed on this slide, there are differences between the LPN role and the ASN student role. So remember, as an ASN student, your role will be different than as an LPN working. Remember to differentiate these roles. Please review the differences. The completion of this lesson has provided you with knowledge of Course Objective 1 and 6. Course Objective 1, describe the adaptive responses needed for successful transition from LPN to ASN knowledge base. Course Objective 6, select appropriate ethical and legal dimensions and evidence theory guided practice to justify safe, effective quality care of the adult client with basic health alterations. Graduate competencies addressed are 3, 5, 8, and 9. Number 3, incorporate knowledge from the sciences, technology, and humanities into providing nursing care to promote health for the client along the wellness illness continuum. Number 5, engage in the practice of professional nursing within the legal, ethical, and regulatory frameworks. Number 8, utilize principles of management and leadership in diverse settings. Number 9, Assume responsibility for lifelong learning, personal and professional growth. This concludes this lesson. If you have any questions related to the content of this lesson, please contact the instructor.